Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. This is gonna be a quick unboxing on uh, this Greenworks 40 volt chainsaw. So I ordered this off of Amazon and uh, I'll put a link down below where you can check it out. So uh, some of you may have seen, I just did an unboxing on a, uh, a DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw, which is about the same class as this. But it's uh, it's it's 20 volts and it's a it's also a 12 inch bar. So I'm gonna do a head to head competition on these. So be looking for that. So been waiting for the evenings that to cool off. It's been really hot. In fact, it's 90 degrees right now. So uh, looks like uh, just like the Dewalt, it's all put together. So here's the 40 volt battery and. Uh, it's pretty good size. So here's the battery. And uh, when I was seeing this online, I pictured it about the same size as a DeWalt battery and it's, it's about twice as big. I'll go grab one so you can see the difference in size. But keep in mind, this is 40 volt versus 20 volt. Okay, so here's a DeWalt five amp hour, 20 volt. And the green works. Now this is a two amp hour battery. So this will put out, it won't last near as long as this one, but it's got a higher voltage potential. So depending on how your saw is geared, it can put out more torque. But I would guess this DeWalt battery on it, on the DeWalt saw would last longer than this on the green works saw. So you can see the comparison in the size of the two batteries. They weigh about the same. So let's get it out of here. Uh, so this is not the uh, bare tool. It came with a battery and uh, charger. So here's your charger. A couple of manuals. And here's the saw. Okay, so looks like the battery goes in like this. Oh, you gotta slide it in at the top. So see how it's got these little grooves? The battery's gotta slide in just like that. So you can't just pop it in, That's they don't fit, so. Get up the top, bam. So, something I've noticed already, uh, comparing this to the DeWalt saw, see this kickback bar here? It's just a piece of plastic. So it doesn't do anything except if you lose your grip, it's gonna keep it from coming back at you because it's gonna hit your hand. So that's all this does. This is the standard 12 inch bar that comes on it. And this is your chain tensioner. This says uh, unlock and lock. So that doesn't unlock or lock it. That's, that's the screw to take this cover off. So if you ever need to change the chain, this is what you take off. I don't know why there's a lock unlock sign on there, unless it does lock the chain somehow. So it looks like uh, you have a switch here to turn it on no you pull it and then you pull the trigger to make it go and the battery's dead because I just got it so uh, here's where the oil goes 
so it unscrews has a little uh, lanyard on there so you can't lose the lid and a little sight glass here so you can see your oil level so that's that so let's get out the uh i just grabbed the dewalt saw while i was in there I want to point out and show you the difference in the uh, kickback protection. So I, remember I said this one is just a piece of plastic here. This saw has a positive lock on it. Hear it click. So when this thing clicks, your chain is locked and it won't turn. Uh, and there's even a, a lock and unlock insignia on here telling you that. So probably if you tried to run it in the lock position, let's just try it. It won't turn. Yeah, nothing. So... Okay, Com so let's compare them by weight. They both have the battery in. They weigh almost the same. The DeWalt, uh, balance-wise, but for a light saw, I don't know that matters. Looks like it's a little heavy in the back, but a lot of times you might be using this with just one hand. The Greenworks saw is noticeably taller, so where you, you're hanging on is way higher than the chain compared to the DeWalt. Balance-wise, it's, it's balanced center of gravity right in the middle, and uh, it feels okay. The handle is a lot skinnier than the DeWalt. The DeWalt feels like a one of their power tools it's got a nice, nice grip there. And the Greenworks has a skinnier grip. So, and it's top heavy when you're holding it with one hand. So if I were cutting with one hand with this, I don't think I would want to do that very many times. This one, I don't think it would uh, be a big deal to make a few cuts single-handed with this one. So I haven't used either one of these. They're brand new out of the box. Just wanted to unbox the, the Greenworks. So why did I go with the Greenworks? Uh, because DeWalt doesn't have as many yard use type implements as the, as the uh, Greenworks. So Greenworks has a, a small tiller, a power washer, uh, and one thing that I'm definitely getting next, uh, if, if I like this setup, is they have a, it's an eight and a half foot pole saw, so you can cut limbs up high. So, so that's why I went with the Greenworks. Uh, I would have probably went with DeWalt if they had, had those other tools, because I wouldn't have had to get a whole different line of batteries. So now, I'm going to have to get different batteries. So this came with a two amp hour battery, which I don't think that's very large for working stuff outdoors. The, uh, the 40 volts doesn't mean it lasts twice as long. You go by the amp hours. So what two amp hours means is it'll put out two amps for one hour or one amp for two hours and these don't have a variable speed so it's just on or off so so it's basically your on or off time and i don't know how many amps this draws it probably doesn't say on here but uh, anyway that's the end of this video so be looking out for our our comparison i've got a uh whew, it's hot i got a tree down there that's a half 
half fallen over and it's still green and as soon as it cools off a little bit I'm gonna show you how these work and when I get down to the big thick log I'm gonna do kind of a head-to-head -head competition or I'll time it how long it takes to slice through something about that big around but uh, I suspect the, the green works will go through faster because of the 40 volts but it won't last as long because of the two amp hour battery so that's it. Uh, give me a thumbs up on this uh, product review if you would. And check out some other product reviews that I've done. And I will catch you on the next one. Take care.